Okay, Dr. Hubner, and I am here today with Jamie. And Jamie is, uh, we're very happy she is here because she is not your typical traction or male pattern baldness that you would see on our other videos. And we are fortunate enough to have a lot of uh, people in the trans community that come here for feminization. And uh, she, great. yeah, and she certainly has quite a story and she's been very active in that, in that role. So I'll let her talk and, t and talk sure. about her. But uh, well, maybe I'll let Dr. Huber tell my whole story. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm 60, 68 years old. I'll be 69 into this month. Uh, and I didn't realize till I was 63 uh, what was going on with me. And so in 2015, I started my transition. And I've been transitioning since, although I would say uh, in most regards, I'm done with the transition uh, almost two years ago. But in terms of the presentation, which is very important to any woman, um, the number one thing that we are all concerned about is our hair. This is something that we show every day and that is the most uh, obvious uh, outward sign of our femininity. Sure. And of course, I was a, a typical uh, male in that I had a pretty bad uh, male pattern baldness. And um, so I, um, I had to approach um, the process in many steps. Uh, this is actually my third transplant procedure. Um, tell us about that. You've had, so when was, tell us about your, in terms of your hair, uh, tell us about that. So the, the first, when I started, when I decided to do my first major procedure, I had um, two typical procedures that uh, trans women do, which are augmentations. Uh, and then I wanted to get feminized. Right. And I found a, a group in Spain that does feminization called the Facial Team. And basically they had a unique procedure because they make an incision in the back of the crown and they pull the full, the full flap forward, the scalp. Uh, and then when they go to close it again, they take a hair strip and then they transplant it. So it's a nice procedure if you don't want a <laughs> surgical scar. Right. And I thought I wasn't going to end up with a surgical scar, but it turned out that wasn't the case right. because they only did this structural bone procedure. So last year I was to Costa Rica and in Costa Rica I was getting soft tissue work done, face, face lifting, eyebrow lifting. And when, I, I, when the doctor said he wanted to do an eyebrow lift, I was very reticent because I knew it meant an incision along the top right. uh, and I had a long conversation. I said I would go for one more hair procedure afterwards to fix whatever he did. So okay. um, I've had you know, two major facial procedures and I've also had both follicular unit extraction and uh, a transplant. So uh, in, in the interim I had, which I didn't care for, although it, was, it had advantages. I had a follicular extraction where they shaved the back of my head. Right. That F was a really tough recovery. Right. I don't recommend it for trans girls. Especially for women. It, yeah. Because it's very traumatic. And yeah. You're going around with half your head shaved. Right. And um, right. so um, so I've had all all different kinds. So now um, I I was re I really did a lot of research. And by the way, I have done tremendous amount of research. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't done the right. research on Dr. Huber and knew that what he was offering me was what I was looking for to finish off my presentation mm -hmm. um, and, and I really appreciate what what I was reading about the care they take here and their emphasis on the results rather than on the number of right. hair follicles right. this emphasis on the number of hair follicles is a ruse right. and has nothing to do with actually doing a good job with a hair transplant right. and that's one of the reasons I decided to come here so he's going to go ahead and cover this scar yeah. and lower my hairline yeah. which it should be because a feminine hairline is at least a quarter inch lower than it is now and then of course, when I had my facelift, I did. Uh, they had quite a bit of scarring. Uh, what's the term when you get necrosis? Yeah. Some necrosis. Mm -hmm. And then I had hair shedding. So a lot of the work I had done previously fell out. Mm -hmm. So I lost some of what I'd done in yeah. the follicular like unit extraction, right. which is stressful. And I, sure. if I'd known better, I wouldn't have done that. Right. So, but long story short, I'm here. Hopefully, I have enough density in the back to go ahead and fix the front and thicken up anything they can with what I've got to work with and hopefully I'll have the best possible presentation I can as a feminine person. Cannot wait to see you in a year or even sooner as you get that feminine hairline and, and I get know the scar covered up. I know it's a big difference and, and for as a trans girl who suffers from dysphoria quite a bit I can tell you that that the hairline is a real a real broadcast of what your your gender and I'm very self-conscious yeah. maybe people don't notice it but I'm awfully self-conscious and 
fixing this problem is going to be a really big relief for me. And Great. that's why I'm delighted to get it done. Awesome. Thank you for sharing your story, Jamie. And we're going to be checking in throughout the day for uh, see how the day is. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are here with Jamie, and at this part, we've done the anesthesia in the back, we've removed the strip, and we've sewed everything together. Jamie, how has your day been going so far? Well, it's fine. There was there was the pin pricks, and they're a little uncomfortable, but um, I did have one Valium, and that helped make <laughs> things go a little more smoothly. Yeah. And I really like the fact that I get to watch them work over there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, actually do the dissections of the follicles. Yeah. And, uh, and what have you been doing during the surgery? I've been watching a fantastic movie. <laughs> Great. So, oh, Coen so, Brothers, if you ever want to see it. Yeah. So things are going very well, and, and I've, they've got their strip now, and yeah. hopefully they'll put it in the front where it belongs. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Jamie, and we have just finished her surgery, and she was actually sleeping through most of it, <laughs> I think. And uh, maybe the Valium helped a little, but she's getting a little bit emotional. You saw her hairline. It's awesome to see uh, that she's happy with the shape of it. And uh, so tell us about your day, Jamie. Well, I'm just really, I was really uncertain how it would look and everything. And the surgery went really super well. And yes, there were some print pricks in the beginning, but mm -hmm. nothing that is too hard to do with. And then... The incisions and everything were nothing, and then I got to watch them take the little <laughs> follicles out, and the little friendly follicles. That was so exciting. I've never seen that before, and the girls were doing such a great job yeah. cutting them out and getting them ready, and uh, then I kind of passed out, you know? <laughs> comfortably. And, and comfortably. Not in a bad way, in a good not way. Not at all. Right, I was right. watching a favorite movie right. of mine, and having a great time, yeah. and then uh, I kind of came to, and then I got to see myself. Yeah. And what do you think looking in the mirror? Oh, it's I'm like going to zoom in here so you, just to see this the new shape. It's like a whole other person. Yeah. I'm going to put some side and side. You can really see really? how much this this type of shape in terms of making her look feminine. It makes us amazing. And I'll put difference. the befores right next to it and look at the difference. It's you have, like really a big it, deal. Huge deal. What I've always yeah. wanted. Right. So badly is to be yeah. able to have the feminine hairline yeah. I should have had all along yeah. and, um, and to hide the scars too you yes, know so it's I kind know. of a double yeah and that's so. true because that face left left a lot of scars right. and now I won't have to so. stare at that white line all the time or try to cover it with makeup and yeah. other so, things to do so really happy for you I'm Jamie I'm super super yeah. happy that yeah. this was done and I, we're, what we're, a great place to do it what a great <clears throat> doctor to do it with I had a really wonderful time. And now what matters is your results. So we're going to be following you throughout the year. And um, again, realistically, a 30 to 40% additional density into this area. Uh, and I cannot wait to see how this uh, changes your life. Thanks. We'll see where we go from there. Thanks again, Jamie, for sharing your story. Oh, I am so delighted. And so yeah. good, good to be here. Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.